Aaron from The Running Report here with Nia Atkins. She just ran 203 today to come away with the win. It's been a while since you've been on the track. Yeah. What was the what was the goal coming into this race and how did it feel to just get back out there? Yeah, it was so fun today to be on the track again, especially under the lights. It makes it feel like we're not in the middle of a pandemic. Um, and I don't know, it just made the track feel more, the environment feel more lively. Um, I just wanted to really capitalize on the opportunity to race and just focus on that um, and just kind of let the chips fall where they may. So. Well, they definitely, they fell in your favor. You came yeah. away with the dub. I was seeing before, you said you, you had Frosty, Chick-fil-A, and In-N-Out, all of you win. Yeah. Uh, are you still feeling that? Is that gonna happen? <sighs> I'm locked in now. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. <laughs> as soon as I touch the track, I'm locked in, so maybe not. It's sad too, because In-N-Out's just like, kind of a here thing. Yeah, So yeah, I might yeah, have yeah. to really consider that plan. I might have to change it up for next time, but yeah. And also, I've been just, I was just seeing your team out here, like after Ali's race, like yeah. you guys have such like a family vibe with your team. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, that's a huge reason why I joined. Honestly, I feel like I had that in college and I wanted to make sure that that was maintained and like wherever I went professionally. Um, and when I met everybody at Brooks, I was like, that's what I want. I want to be there. Um, cause no matter what happens, like at least I'm having fun and I'm surrounded by good yeah. people, which honestly, when I was looking around, you can get that anywhere, but, um, I just clicked really well with Brooks. So yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thanks. You're able to find that. <laughs> uh, when do you think you'll be back on the track? You have any plans to race anytime soon or is it kind of like, um, I think that's a wrap. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I honestly don't know. Um, it's just how things are this year. Um, we're gonna have a nice training block back in Albuquerque um, for a month or so, and then um, figure out where we're going from there, so. And before you go, I have to ask you this too, like the women's 800 is crazy right now. Yes, from understatement. <laughs> AJ Wilson just running 158. Yeah. To Athingmo doing crazy things. Also to high schoolers. Yeah. yeah, to high schoolers running like 201, 202, yeah. like it's, Nothing. What's it like to be a part of such an amazing like women's event? It's so exciting, honestly. I remember last year watching events like the 400 meter hurdles and being yes. like, man, like it brings the best out of everyone in that event. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that that happens for me. Like last year was was kind of all over the place. It was a mess, but um, I'm kind of hoping that this year with the competition, there's there's just going to be great race opportunities. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, being a part of that group is it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting to watch. So we're looking forward to seeing you at the Olympic trials, battling out with all those girls. And hopefully we see you in that top three. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> fingers crossed. <laughs>